This is the expulsion from Eden. Normally, when we think about that subject, we might think about images from the Italian Renaissance, like Masaccio's expulsion from the Garden of Eden, or the expulsion by Michelangelo on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Those are paintings of Adam and Eve, of the two figures. But Cole has transformed this into a landscape painting. We can barely find Adam and Eve. It takes us a moment, in part because they're so small, but he has given us this over-the-top operatic. Adam and Eve start out illuminated by the light of God and are then expelled into darkness when they taste the fruit of knowledge. They move away from the light instead of toward it. The opening in the rock at the center of the painting suggests the entrance of Plato's cave, and so the garden may be thought of as a womb, as is the case with the cave. Exiting the cave and exiting the garden is then comparable to... Thomas Cole captured nature in her grandest form, creating sublime landscapes of the untrammeled wilderness. Born in Bolton, England in 1801, Cole came of age witnessing the effects of the Industrial Revolution. Rivers rotting with waste, factories belching smoke, and machinery destroyed in the Luddite Rebellion epitomized the new era. After the Cole family emigrated to the United States in 1818, Thomas Cole taught himself to paint. He began to make his name painting the American wilderness in scenes that exclude any sign of settlement or industry or the kind of tourism that he would have seen in the Hudson River Valley. Perhaps it's appropriate that the final book of the Bible depicts the defeat of the serpent that caused such mischief at the beginning, but always remember, Adam and Eve were ultimately responsible for their disobedience, and blaming the snake did them no good at all. And one element in the story is often overlooked. The woman, after listening to the serpent's lies, saw that the forbidden fruit was pleasing to the eye. Obviously this is a lesson for all of us. Things that appear beautiful and enticing can lead us astray. Many scholars have consigned the story of the Garden of Eden to the realms of mythology. But is it really just a piece of fiction? Or is there more to it than that? If you look closely at the Genesis story, there are clues to show that the Garden of Eden was a real physical place on this earth. I'm going to take you on a journey. A journey in search of paradise.